And we're live. All right, we're live. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hope everyone What's up, is having a good morning. Nothing, just I'm made some coffee. coffee. Yeah, well, we're outside. We got the pool spotted up. We're getting ready to throw some bacon on the uh, on the kettle. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think, Bear? You ready to get the bacon seasoned up and put on? Yeah. All right. Well, let me flip this camera around and uh, we'll show you what we got. All right. Uh, more settings. Back facing. <laughs> so my back. Dad just left the chat unexpectedly. So, now you guys doing this morning? For those that are in, oh, he's back. Yeah, yeah, I hit the wrong button. This darn technology stuff. Okay, so we got the kettle going. <laughs> yep. Got a piece of maple wood right here. Bear Cub's going to bring over the bacon. <clears throat> Had the maple wood sit up there just to get warm because it's, it's kind of chilly up there. I got some... Uh, uh, B and B lump fired up. We're running about mm -hmm. 350 degrees at the at the grate. You want to get your seasoning? Oh yeah. And she just took a pound of bacon and cut it in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to toss it on like so. We're going to use this in our breakfast pay. Tennessee Buck Outdoors. Hey, he joined and he said, and now, now, well, good thing Tennessee yeah, Buck Bacon is corn. Yep, we're using, using the honey hog garden. Just using my pound of meat. Cooking with yeah. Steph and Jacqueline. Steven. Steven, I mean, sorry. Steven and Jacqueline said, Pete and Lee, good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Ooh. Sunday to you guys, too. Howdy, Steven. Howdy, Jeff. Hope Jacqueline as well. Huh? So what kind of cooking are you doing, Nolan? Direct or indirect? Well, right now I'm drowning my meat in seasoning. I don't know okay. if that counts as a type of cooking. All right. Put the kettle <laughs> lid back on. Look at that, Pete. Mm -hmm. Oh, my little Death Star? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's come over here and see what we got going on. <clears throat> so here, we have our little Dutch oven set up. Mm -hmm. There we go. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. All right, well, you know, got to have a little life source here, a little coffee. That's his life. Source now, Pete. Right here. Okay. Do you want to dump the coals out? Yeah. Okay. Put your, did, uh, I, did I just pull it out? Pull just, it? just dump it out onto there. Actually, dump it on the one that's on. That one? No, the one that's this on. One. Yep. Yeah, watch your step here. Up it straight, straight out on there. Yeah, we like to see that hot coals. Okay, just set it down on on the floor underneath there. So now we're gonna take. And Jacqueline said that Jacqueline is doing well. Thanks for asking. That is, that's awesome. I, I hope she's doing well in school. How many is that, Bear Cub? You're, you're taking math. Two, four, six, eight. That's eight. That's eight. What we're going to do is we're, gonna, we're making a mountain man breakfast. We're going to fry up some sausage, 
So I want some. I want a lot of coals right here. Hey, Ed, do you remember the um the rock guy from Fantastic Four? Yeah. The Why does my hand look like him? I don't think it does. <laughs> But this was only black and gray. Now, if it was like orange and rockly, yes. You want to grab the? Uh, you want to go grab Katie? Katie, yeah. that one. Ooh, that's Katie. Oh. I'll grab Katie. Yeah, Dad has um, named all of his Dutch ovens. There's Gloria, Katie. I have Veronica. I have Vanessa. Vicky. Or Vicky, yeah. So let's scoot this. It's tricky how to put this on here so we can still do what we got to do. Okay. There you go. A little heavy in there, I mean, just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to set uh, Katie right here on top of these coals. All right. We're going to pull out the little... Barnacle boy. Good morning to you guys. No one calls Mr. Him. Cast Iron. Tell Miss Cast Iron we said hi as well. Oh, Mike, how you doing? And good morning. Good morning, Pickles. Pickles. That is awesome. How you doing, Pickles? Charlie, we need a, uh, a wooden special. Okay. Get Star Wars one. Okay. Good morning and a knife from the uh, barbecue. Sausage. He said good morning. Craig. Hey, Craig. All right. So, ah, it's check, hey, hey, check it out. You see my new windscreen? Yep. What do you think of that? You didn't even know I made that. I did not know you made that. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I got these. I had mom pick up these little rings. They're little clasp mm -hmm. rings. And I yeah. just hooked them all together and um, put them on. Tennessee Buck said he, that he liked the windbreaker, Dad. And Pickles Thanks, said hey. styling windscreen. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Cass Iron said he's doing he's that he's doing good. Doing good. Yeah, I saw uh I saw your short the uh, Mama T getting her uh her air fryer. Uh, I hadn't watched it yet, but I saw you put it up there. That's that's great. <laughs> What are your plan for today, sister? Um, doing some more well church, then some more recipes writing, maybe some writing on my own in my little three hundred prompt book, and getting ready for oh, school yeah. tomorrow. Well, now, pay uh, Mama T, uh, Mrs. Cast Iron. Just got an air fryer, so maybe you could uh, do a couple air fryer things. Hint, hint. Speaking of, Mr. Cast Iron said, yeah, she's spoiled. Talking about Miss Cast Iron. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't you take the, uh, the wind test this week? Oh, my goodness. All Tuesday. This is going to be the third Tuesday in a row. I'm taking a standardized test. <sighs> Don't you Not You got to love your junior year. You want to put coals on fun. the top all the way around? Yeah. What we're going to do is preheat that lid. The lid? Yep. The lid, Patrick. The lid. Yep. You got to see this. So why would you? See. This. Let's see. Why are you going to preheat the lid, Dad? Well, just because, like, you would preheat your oven inside, right? We're going to yeah. preheat this whole oven, and then we're going to take the lid off when we uh, brown up our sausage. Mm. These are, like, popsticks to these 
So we're just going to preheat that lid so it's re ready to rock and roll when we're good, good and going. All right. So what do you, what do you guys have planned this week? School, tutoring, napping. Work, cast iron Wednesday. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. But good yep. thing is this week, I think Thursday, I have a half day and then I don't have school at all on Friday. So I'm excited. Oh, really? <gasps> yeah. So I feel like get out like second block and then I'm done on Thursday. Well, good. Because we taught me and mom talked about having a picnic. One day that you're off. A picnic? A picnic kitty. Man. At the fountain. This is actually really hot, by the way. Just saying. Whoa. So, Dad, Mr. Cast Iron, he complimented your new thumbnails. He said, I love, I'm loving the new thumbnails, Leaster. Leaster. Thanks, Mike. Um, I was watching, uh, a Nick Nimmin video on how to do, uh, that good? yeah, on how to okay. do better thumbnails, and he recommended this app, Pixel Lab, and man, I have spent, I don't know, probably about eight hours going through and trying to update them, and man, they're looking good. I had a guy never seen my channel before. I had him look at it, and his first reaction was, wow, that's professional. That looks really good. So I felt pretty confident about that. Yeah. Y'all see on my channel? Look at my new nope. thumbnails. This one? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Ah! There you go, Cub. All right. All right. Let me move these aside. I didn't know that's how it was. Yeah, you can leave this up there. It's fine. Is that going to No. Okay. You can leave us sit there. That's fine. I know I got way too many colds, but you never know how long this stuff's going to take. It's kind of cold outside. Wait, oh yeah, we're like, going We're like in the 40s. Yesterday was a high Yesterday of 50. Yesterday was high. Yeah. Let's take on mine. No? I'm getting tired of the Let's changing weather, though, to be honest. Yep, now you can squeeze it, lift up. Set it right there on the. There you go, Cub. Is he gonna fall over? Nope. Okay. Let's see if I can get it zoomed up here so you guys can see her. Drop in the. Uh... It's like a little campfire. Well, actually, it... like a little heatable, like portable fireplace. Oh, kind of, yeah. Dad. Um, we're Dutch oven cooking. cooking. With... Steven and Jacqueline said that you said Pixel Lab was the app you're using? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. And they also said that they like thumbnails too. Oh, great. Pickles is bragging about his weather. Yeah. Um, he said that it's been six years of snow this week. So, I don't know if that's bagging or, like, foreshadowing. I'm telling you. Well, first, I'm ready for it to get warm again. Last year, and during March, we were quarantined. Now, it's not hot. You know. Mr. Cast Iron said that he's going to look into Pixel Lab. You know, it, it was one of those that took me a minute to kind of figure it out. I had to watch his video while I did it. Um, but I was able to – howdy, motorcycle guy. But once I was able to figure out, you can go to YouTube Studio and mm -hmm. go to edit your video, edit your thumbnail, and then you can download the current thumbnail – and then you're able to use mm -hmm. that in Pixel Lab to add your wording or whatever and yeah. change your colors, your fonts, and all that stuff, change the background.
Yeah. Keep it simple for right now and see how it goes. Um, yep. Pickles said he a long way to go. Thumb, yeah. Is free and decent. Yep. Pixel Lab 3, I've had, an, I, I'm just trying to get into this whole, you know, make stuff look better and. I was trying to get to it, but they're like, eh, that interferes with our kick. I mean, okay, <laughs> yes, but also when you want us to do it, we're either heading to practice or we got to get onto a Zoom for school. I'm also impatient. Yes. So there <laughs> is. Hey. You know, at least they missed it. Bring with those. Steven and Jacqueline have 80 degrees. Tennessee Buck said that it was 23. And Behind the Garage Barbecue said that, or Craig, he said it's 28 right now. And Craig is not having it with, he doesn't like it. <laughs> Well, Craig, my brother, if you move south, um, that'll help. No, it won't. Uh, I, I, I tell you, coming from Ohio, man, I don't miss shoveling snow at all. I don't miss them 15 to 12 degree days. Do you want it in there? Yeah, we're going to flavor this up. Do you want some Uncle Steve shakes? Oh, yeah. Which one do you want? You want to try to smoke bomb? Get shake. Um, sure. It, it says it's got a kick to it, so you got to be careful. Okay. I'm watching. Should, How are you guys doing? How was your week? Uh, what was your high of the week? What was your low yep. of the week? I'm kind of curious about that. I, and what was your love? Show, show what we're doing. He's in the, uh, well, she's going to use the Uncle Steve smoke bomb. I've heard it's really good. Come highly recommended from my, my friends here on YouTube. Yeah. So our sausage so. is just about brown. That's awesome. How was your guys' week? Dad, what was your high and what was your low of the week? Oh, oh. <laughs> um, well, the high point of the week. Um, yep, I, I'm going to say it's, it's my goal every day to see my wife and kids. Um, <laughs> yeah, you got to account for the wind. So you got to kind of go a little, but you're good. You got enough in there. Um, and so that was the high, the high of the week. Yeah. We did the uh, monkey bread, um, and seeing the reaction with the kids, um, you know, the oldest and, and bear cub, they, uh, really enjoyed it. We're going to put it in a half a half a onion diced bear chopped by the one and only Peyton. Um, low part. Well, I'm not going to get into that. We're going to keep it positive. So. Crack Daddy Barbecue said, said, Good morning, Bear Cup. Jerry hey, joined. Jared, how you doing, buddy? Long time. You want to get uh, some, a little bit of butter? We won't need butter. We're going to add the um, hash browns next. And start All right, up. Nolan, what was your high and what was your low of the week? Um, <laughs> high would be... Let's see if we can get it zoomed in a little bit better. Here we go. Is that a better better sight? Hold on. You like I'm that view better? The... Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, we got we got a little lag. Okay, and then. So Jared said that he's doing great. And what are we cooking in the cast iron? We're doing a Mountain Man breakfast. So, so there is onion, onions and Steve shake in the cast iron, which um, Craig behind the barbecue said that it's really good. So I'm going to take his word for it. We also have bacon going. Sorry. We also have bacon going. And I think we're going to need some eggs later. All right, Pickles. The high, he said the high of the week was cooking scallop mussel pasta. That does sound really good. You're going to have to make me some pickles. Do you? Okay. And then he said the low of the week was pulling weeds. I understand pulling weeds. I'm going to try and start a garden soon, and I got, like, a bottle from work that I want to see if I can, like, do hydro planting or just plant in it. So that'll be exciting. Put this over there. Put the lid on. Jared also said that bacon is life. Yes, it is life. Yep. Now, All lift the time. this. Oh, I'm struggling. Ah, no, we're gonna leave it. No. We're gonna leave it there. You just turn. Oh. Um. We're gonna lift this up, and we're gonna take most of the coals out from underneath it. When I would, I would. In the center. In the center. In a circle, yeah. Move from over here. Whenever I was younger. I was obsessed with like bacon. So I had vegetables and roll them in bacon so I wouldn't notice. And it worked. It's the only way mom will have to make it. Make a little circle. Highly request. Speaking of bacon, oh. I got bacon over here. Cooking on. Make it wide. Oh. Okay. So for this those is Bear in the Cubs chat, first Dutch oven I, cooking. Are you excited about St. Patty's Day? There we go. We had a glitch or something. Okay. Okay. So this is Bear Cubs' first time Dutch oven cooking, by the way. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, use your glove and lift it up. We're having troubles, aren't we, Faye? All right, Bear Lift up. It'll be heavy. Set it right back up on. There you go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's add a couple more. Put another one there, another one there. Well, you just... We're having uh, Wi-Fi issues, I reckon. Hickles oh. responded to the question I right, asked, so and he said, heck yeah, corned beef, cabbage, and taters for St. Patty's Day. Well, I don't know if you guys know, but it is my favorite holiday. I go out every year. You don't have your handle. No, I was about to say, I don't have. have my St. Patty's Day, and I spend a pretty penny. On St. Patty's Day stuff, but I will. I'm pretty penny. She's spent like. Yeah, I did spend, but it was a Dollar Tree, so I got like scarves, yeah. necklaces. Oh, 
Oh, sent one one thousand. He said hello, everyone. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Um. Let me, let me take a take you on a little tour here. Here's our bacon. It's looking good, looking good. We just pound a bacon cut in half, doing a little smoke with some uh, maple wood. All right. The bacon, that bacon is looking good. Yeah. yeah. Good. It is looking good. I, you I see this, Jared? You see that, Jerry? That's like beautiful, beautiful bacon. And Jared, we're using the um, meat church honey hog on it. So we got a little Texas inspired flair, sweet flair. I learned this in like middle school, okay? And it changed my life. So I was I was an academic challenge, which is like a trivia club, I guess. And um, so you get questions like, what is the barbecue state of the country? And I was like, barbecue or uh, Texas, obviously. It was wrong. It's like or something. And I was like, the heck, how? South Carolina. In South Carolina, it was like South Carolina is the home of barbecue. I don't. I thought it was Arkansas. Something. I have to look it up and figure it out. All right, we're gonna let that cook up just a little bit longer. This one's that's gonna be the crumble for our topping. I guess it is oh, barbecue the Dutch oven. or yeah. South Carolina. Airplane. Huh. Oh, righty, righty, righty. Set 1,000. Let's turn this. We're on going a little trip here. Well, I guess I can't yeah. see the comments if I turn it this way, but hi, Bear Cub. Look at that airplane. Yeah. We're going to have a little ADD going on here, guys. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's the second airplane. Well, we are just south of the airport in Charlotte. So Charlotte's that Oh, sorry. Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh. Here we go, guys. Now this is just us chilling. With slippers on. Uh, so if anything goes on, I can't see the camera around. <laughs> you want me to? Let me see if I can flip the camera around. Without taking yourself out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Settings. Camera. Front. Okay. Ooh. Back. Close. There we are. Hey, I did it, Bear. Hey. Question is, how'd I do it? Oh, you just explained it. it. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Sitting here in the sun in the front, front driveway, it's it's kind of uh, warming up a little bit. Um, kind of warming up a bit, huh? I don't know, but I thought the dog out and it was pretty cold. So I'm staying there. Make, it, make this shorter. There. We got to move this. Make it shorter. Uh, there we go. There. How's that? That's good. I think you see us. Can I, I still can't read it. <laughs> I said make it shorter. I need like a teleprompter or something. 
a teleprompter? Where's that? Where it comes up on the screen, like a bigger screen. Like your projecto? Kind of, but not really. You can project it like onto a, the car. It'd be like having a laptop. Or, you know, with the screen up. Okay. It's a little too high tech for this right now. Yeah. And for this so, one, I understand that. All right. I have a big question. Hello. Ready? Yeah. Mountain man cooking okay. or questions. I'm good with questions. Like, would you want to get out every well, morning? Obviously, and... cooking it by yourself. All right. So then, quit part two to the question. Would you want to do it alone, or would you want to have somebody who's not your favorite person to cook with you? Like, have one of your like okay friends, or like I tolerate them, or just cook by yourself. I cook by myself. I do a lot of a lot of the cooking by myself. Yeah. I mean, the, the you kids help out when when I'm like, hey, or when you guys are into whatever we're cooking, but <clears throat> majority of the time is by myself. Yeah. Which is fine. Strong Adventures joined in and said, "Hey, Bear and Cubs, what's up? Hey, Billy. Hi, Billy. Tennessee Buck we're asked, what up. kind of Dutch oven is Katie? She is a large 12-inch deep camp oven. All right. And um, behind the garage barbecue, Craig said that he cooks alone. I cook alone, too, just because I don't really cook yeah, often. It's um, just easier and, and you can move at your own pace. Yeah. Pickle said cooking makes people friends sometimes. That is true. I would say that I cook with yeah. someone I can like tolerate so I can like get to know them better and I can like actually become really good friends with them. Well, there's a, there's a lot of friendships that are formed and strengthened because when, when somebody cooks for you, man, that's showing love. You know, so it's it's nice to have somebody there to, to chat with or whatever. But a lot of times I'm doing it by myself just to kind of relax and to zone out and, yeah. you know, listen to the music. music. Tennessee Book Outdoors you know, also said that he cooks alone. That the Dutch and... oven with the lid, the lip around it, mm -hmm. is was invented by Paul Revere. No, I don't know who that is. You know the guy who ran through the yelling, the British is coming, the British is coming? No. I have a celebrity. Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve, how you doing, buddy? We got some uh, smoke bomb he said, rolling. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. <clears throat> Airplane uh, number five. Mr. Cassarin said that he cooks alone as well, I believe. Um, Since 1000 one said, LOL, I prefer to cook alone considering when there is two cooks in the kitchen, someone tend to get upset for not having it their way. That is very true. Very, very true. Yep. Um, let's see what other questions can I ask. Do I just like use All that? Right, so we're gonna get Bear Cub's gonna rotate her Dutch up here. It's the first time in first time she's doing this, by the way. Featuring frozen all Oops. up in you. All right. Use this. You can or you can use this. What am I doing? You're going to lift the bail. Right. You're going to turn the Dutch oven this way. So this would be this way? Yep. The 12 would be that way. So then your handle is going to be this way. What? Just do it. There's your ears right here. You're going to turn it so your ears on the Dutch oven are this way. This way? Yep. So can I just pick it up with that? You can. You can use your hand with a glove. That, I don't know if I want to trust that. Well, that's fine. 
pick it up. Okay. That way. Yep. Now spin the lid back. Yep, spin the lid so it's back sideways. Don't lift it up. Just twist it. There you go. Now, what's that do? You even keep cooking. Absolutely. Awesome. All Ooh. right. So, Mr. Cast Iron said that it was a song club talking about the British year coming. That that was a song. Oh. And say... Yep. And one one thousand. Steve said that he cooks alone and he cleans while he cooks better than I do because I just kind of don't clean it until yeah, you you girls are. But yeah, you girls, once you get cooking in the middle, and mom yeah. comes down and finds the kitchen trashed, and then I come home from work and Dad, she's mad as all get out. No, no, and it's no, no, no. Eight o'clock in the morning. You, you are bad as well. You are bad. So. If you want to give me some more coffee and I'll check the bacon. Or do you want to check the bacon? Strong Adventures. Billy says, I thought we were talking about the singing group Paul Revere and the Raiders. Jake, just get up. If anyone has something they want to talk about, we'll talk about it. Good evening, Jake. Good evening. Can you see that pretty good there? I'm getting ready to flip the bacon. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. The muffin man. The muffin man. Oh. What do you guys think of that? Ooh. Ooh, Dad. How much loving do you want on a Sunday morning right there? Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh, uh oh. Teeth broke up a little bit there. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you remember last night when we opened his taste buds and he did it anyway? Yeah. I was going to go back to smash. Yeah. That's fine. Really likes <laughs> when you guys pick on me. And call me out. No. So, sent one 1,000 said, um, wrong thing, sorry. He's, Billy, boy Billy, he says, love some bacon loving. I bacon. So good. Mm. All right. And Uncle Steve said, I missed it. What are we cooking? We are doing Mountain Man breakfast. So, if I'm correct, we have it right here. Um, pounds of sausage, hash browns, eggs, cheese, bacon, that kind of thing. Yeah, Uncle Steve, I'm taking them the, this morning and um, teaching Bear Cub a little Dutch oven cooking. This is her first time cooking Airplane over. Airplane number six. Yes, your ADD is just as bad as mine. Do you need a son? Um, <laughs> but we're teaching Dutch oven cooking. Cooking over coals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's heard me and watched a lot of videos and stuff and Looks like you might need a couple more underneath there because they're getting pretty small and wore down. Oh. Yeah. So we're taking this time this morning to 
you know, introduce that and teach it. And I'm going to scoot you around because the sun's starting to get in my eyes. Okay. There we go. There's sun. Whoa. Man, we got clear blue skies. Check this out. I ain't Let's seen this go. in a couple of in a couple of weeks. Bella. Oh my goodness. We, we've had nothing Look but rain. Right. All right. There we go, Bear Cup. Don't worry. There's a yeah. lot of airplanes out, Peyton. Yep. Uh, yeah, go. I can they usually get a lot. We're currently at seven. That one one thousand said when I first learned how to cook, I was eight. First time I cooked over an open fire was when I was thirteen. Yep. Um, yeah. We don't. I like we don't do it like that. So. Yeah. So we don't do any camping or anything like that, and it's it's stuff the kind of cooking that I, I've wanted to do this Dutch oven stuff for. Shoot, since I started watching John Wayne way back in 1980, I mean, probably <laughs> uh, campfire cooking and Dutch oven uh -huh. cooking, and um, yeah, like who's okay. obsessed. Well, um, when I like wanted to start cooking, so it's something I, I like, want to do more of. I was, yeah, um. But set one one thousand. I was like by my dad while he was putting something in the oven. I was like, I want to cook, and he was like, All right. And so he started teaching me. Oh, we didn't have like eat. when I was seven or eight, and then I did my first like dinner. I made like by myself when I was thirteen for my birthday, and that was so much fun. Oh, we forgot the eggs. We forgot the eggs. <laughs> my goodness. Number eight. Um. Number eight airplanes. Okay, so we're gonna turn you guys this way. Is this how we do this? Yeah, well, this way. We're yeah. gonna add the eggs. Here I am sitting here yapping. We forgot all about the eggs. So, well, we happen to know Uncle the pilot. Steve, Ooh. Uncle Steve said that um, I have I met so many kids that think cooking is breakfast. Cooking breakfast is pop tarts or Starbucks or McDonald's. The whole concept of prep and cooking would really put her far in front of others. Yeah, we kind of grew up with if you don't like overcooking, find something else to make. So here's Dad cracking the eggs. <laughs> Oh, yeah. and, and Uncle Steve, I found uh, I found a way to connect with the kids as far as ah. um like mm -hmm. and sauces and keeping track of time. Um that's how they got, that's how they learned all that stuff. Yeah. So I kind of yeah. turned, turned a useful thing into, sorry, one, one break. Yeah. Away. So I turned, turned a, a useful skill into them learning their, their math and that kind of stuff. I'm struggling. Your little nephew, Eric. There's dad. Good morning. I can't believe we forgot the eggs. Um, Eric, he said good morning, Eric. Dad. Good morning, Eric. There you go. We're just whisking them up real quick with mama's, with grandma's whisk. Yep. Steve Shake, Uncle Steve, he said nine kids in our family, most of the time, if you don't make it, you don't eat it. 
Well, that is true. Um, we would have, um, like, you know, we'd, like, go out to eat. And I still do. I got it. I put it in the box. And it's mine for 24 hours. Hey, um, and we have mm -hmm. number 10 airplane over here. Wait, why? I completely Let's forgot see. the egg. Why what? Oh, my goodness. I forgot goodness. to put the eggs in. Oh, yeah. I know. Man. Like, serious party foul. I know. I suck. Halfway through the cooking, and I forgot to say, gosh darn it. Eric said that he's at the beach. Why? Lucky. You're traveling everywhere, Eric. First you went to the carnival, and now you're at the beach. And Mr. Cast Iron said the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. And kind of helping to host it. The set one one thousand said, How could you the eggs? I know, I don't know. Because we I, I was talking. He got the yap. I didn't know got the airplane watching. Yep. It's part of this uh, this ADD I got to see adult daughters. Uh, uh, Dad just called the ADHD the adult daughter what? Attention deficit. An adult daughter attention deficit. That's what Dad just. That's what that's Dad just called. That's ADHD. That's ADHD. Now he's adding the biscuit. Oh yeah, Dad. Um, um, adult, speaking. adult daughter's attention deficit. So I'm gonna move this over. And I know I just put the dang mm -hmm. eggs in there, but I'm gonna add some biscuits. Biscuits. Because who doesn't like biscuits? People who are gluten. Mr. Cast Iron said, "Don't allergic. forget the sprinkled cheese, Dad." Yes, yes, I got cheese. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was, like, for my 13th birthday, I was like, Dad, I want to cook dinner for everybody. And that's where I did my first over easy egg. It was on the grill. And I have not Dad, been able to do one. Get the cheese. Yeah. Um, but number 11. 11. I think I might cook dinner again for my birthday this year because I've been, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to cook yet. I just have to figure it out. Um, are the biscuits homemade or from a tube or a tray? They're from a tube. They're from a can. A tube is a can only. Um, our girl... Check off roading. She joined and said good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning, Gary. So, how is it looking? White. Oh. Well, so. There we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, where'd it go? Look at that. And because of the theme, we're going to use a little more smoke bomb. Ooh. Because, hey, why not? Yes. One, one, a little, one of our little puppies sprinkle there. We want breakfast. They're spoiled. All right. Okay. I'm not good at camera with the tripod. So, everybody, I am curious, what's your goal for the month of March? Twelve. What? 
The month. I'm in end I'm going to add some more coals because we're, we're in a deep oven, so there's more space. Uh -huh. And these are... Oh. Oh, goals for March. I kind of don't set any. So you want to have four my report card coming up? Anybody in the chat want to say their goal for March? What are your goals? I know mine is to... I want to just have, like, not a birthday, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to go out and, like, actually, like, have a... Like, I, work, I think I work on St. Patty's Day, so I just go out, have a great St. Patty's Day, and then go out, have a great birthday, and just kind of cook and chill out for the month and just kind of... You know, and then set one one thousand. Said my goal is to let it stand and bringing brisket is to stand as bris brining brisket for St. Patty's Day. Okay, so you guys do brisket. Ooh, nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do for St. Patty's Day this year. Um, I know last year I made a birthday cake, or two years ago I made a birthday cake. Um, and, and I made like all the place. There was dye for months. Um, Huge. Months. Um, cooking with Stefan and Jacqueline said listening and cooking. I like that goal. That's a good goal. Um, Carrie oh, said man. that my goal for the month is teaching my 13 year old son how to cook. That's a I like that. That's a good that's a good thing to to know because that like really kicked off like now I'm just like in the kitchen at 16 almost 17 like just cooking by myself like I don't know. It just feels good to cook by yourself sometimes. It feels good to know and, what you're doing. And especially so because I stay home for my schooling all year, and Dad sleeps because he works during the night, and Mom's normally out doing, like, her work. So if I get hungry, I'll look up what we have, find something. Oh, what is it's going to mix this with a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and call it day. Yeah, it's a very much of a on-the-whim type of thing we do. Um... But, yeah, I'm starting to get some oh. recipes together. Just so I can have some recipes that I wrote down and, like, lost. But now I'm writing them down again. So I don't lose them. <laughs> um, no, what's your goal for March? My, okay. So, I, where's your coffee? Ooh. <laughs> And dad lost his coffee. The bacon's done. <laughs> for real? Um, my goal for March. Well, March is technically almost over. So. No, it's not. It just started. We're only like a couple days in. Never mind then. I thought I thought it was. We're March 7th. Sweetheart. They're on in the, the month. I'm not. Yeah, I thought it was March like tenth. <laughs> I hope. Well, but um, I'm gonna get into pottery. You wanna try? Bacon's okay. Done. Okay. Ooh, look Hot. at that. Ooh, that's so good. Hmm. <laughs> um. Hmm. All right, bit, we'll cast iron. Mike, Mr. Cast Iron said, "Later, y'all. I gotta help Mama T. Bye, Mr. Cast Iron. Have a good day and have a good week. See you next." Um, let's see what else. What other com like 
topics can we talk about? Oh, um, well, we got Dad. Dad's gonna be right in the sun. Right. That's in the true. Sun. <laughs> Eric said that he's having some oranges with some salt and hot pepper for breakfast. Sounds pretty good, honestly. If you've ever, like, tried chocolate with um, oranges, it's really good, Eric. I think you might like it. It's, it's like, so good. it's pretty sweet. Hmm? It's good, good. You know, the, oh, yeah. the, when we were at Grandpa's house, and Holly and Skeet were there with the kids, mm-hmm. and in the freezer in the garage, we pulled out a orange flavored chocolate bar. It was so good. Yep. Um. What's this? Also, if you guys haven't tried, I'd really recommend trying orange or like citrus peel candy. It takes a, it takes a little bit of a taste, but it's pretty good. I just have to like make it right, and then we're pretty much set. Um. That way, they use all the orange or all the lemon. Or- Um, you trying to do fair? Trying to make sure you're not always in the sun. Oh, thank you. Craig said to your bacon in the camera Comments. that it was a money shot. You're probably about ready um, to. Uh, okay. So last night, y'all, I was talking. Me and Nolan were in the kitchen with Dad. And um, for me and Cub were in the kitchen with that, and um, so we're talking, and I go, I'm about to be 17, and sh- and I look at I look at him, and he's like terrified, looking like I just gave him a clown, and then I go, Noel's about to be 17 or 16, and he was like, and I said, Dad, you got some gray hairs going on, and he said, and he walked like he straight up walked away. Oh, Eric, that's awesome. He said that he caught, he went crab hunting, and last night he caught a baby crab. That is awesome. Are you going to raise it, or are you going like, to, like, cook with it? Because I don't, I don't know. Right? If you have I'm helping. crab, like, little animal I'm pet. I got my sunglasses on. I'm helping. Sorry. Yeah, I got my glasses on. I'm okay. okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, you gonna rotate it? Yeah. Well, let me turn the camera so they can All see right. you. All right, I got talking it. of fucking the rotating. Oh wait, hold on. Hey. She said, "Hey, I gotta go finish breakfast and eat. Hope y'all have a great Sunday." Yes, ma'am. You two have a great Sunday, Karen. We'll see you next week, possibly. Well, we're yeah. gonna try to do these every Sunday. So wait, make this knob that. Yep. So have a great week, Carrie. There you go. All right. We'll turn the that lid. one one thousand said talking of cooking. What's everyone's stand on spices to season with? Mine would be hot pepper, salt, and fresh garlic powder. Wait, where's my twelve? You just turn so your handles sideways. Um, my seasonings would be. Salt and pepper, chili powder, garlic, and probably lemon pepper. I don't know why this, but like, I don't know. They just kind of like help each other out, and they're really good. What? Like, what are your standalone seasonings? Like, you would just use. Uh, my like the one I use a lot. One I use a lot. Say, uh, um, what I call bear love. Fourteen. And uh, well, that's fifteen actually. It's two parts, um, like a coarse ground black pepper, and one part of like a, a coarse sea salt or kosher salt. Mm-hmm. That's one I use a lot. Yeah. Um, of course, Uncle Steve strong- is all set up there. Yeah. Um, Billy said, LOL, all I use is Gator Shake now. Pretty much. Yep, they, they have found a love for Gator Shake. 
I put it yeah. on my tongue. And that, that sweet dessert shake was amazing. Dad ate a spoonful of peanut butter with the dessert shake all over it because he wanted something yeah. sweet. Oh. Yes. All right. Rusty joined and he said, Good morning. I'll stop by on my way home for the leftovers. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he, he had popped over right as we were getting ready to go on, and, and so I apologize for not chatting more. It was kind of – it's always hectic right before we go on. <laughs> Pickle said S-P-P-O-G-C, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and cayenne. That's a, that's a really good choice, too. S-P-G. Is that going to be – okay, I have a question about that. Is that spicy? Well, the cayenne – Maybe. Like oh, cause I know the like cayenne's like a a, a dump there. Yes, but then again, it's like spicy things. Yeah. Eric, Dad said that he said, "Uncle Lee, you look so cool." Eric stays hyping you up, Dad. He stays hyping you up. Thanks, Bob. Oh, this is what Dad's doing, by the way. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, what's he doing? doing? He, he's rotating the things into there. My coals are burning down, so I got to try to heat up some more, and I'm just throwing these yeah. little nuggets. <laughs> Why don't you use the thing right there? Because mm -hmm. I got a little one. This Kings were burning pretty, uh, so pretty fast. So set one 1,000 said that cayenne can be spicy if you add a lot of it. That's and then true. pickles also agreed as spicy as you want it with how many how much cayenne you use. <clears throat> it just depends. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge spicy person, so I try not to use a lot of spicy. But I am warming up to jalapeno powder, garlic powder, or not garlic. Um, some more cayenne, paprika, and chili powder, just for some color and a little bit more flavor. I remember, Dad. Dad tried jalapeno powder one day, and he huh? didn't know exactly how he should do it, so he used a spoon. Not a good idea. Well, I don't think the jalapeno powder is super spicy, though. I don't know why. Uh, um, what else should we talk about? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of airplanes. Um, that one 1000 also said that he loves fresh jalapeno peppers. Well, if you take that, we use jalapeno peppers for like jalapeno poppers because I think um, we're not a spicy fan. You know what I mean? We're not super spicy, but I do love a little spice every once in a while. Um, <laughs> every once in a while. <laughs> every once in a while, but. Um, yeah, so let's see. What else should we talk about? Easter is coming up, so kind of self-promo. If you guys have a honey-baked ham, kind of go to a honey-baked ham and have really good ham and turkey. It's a little, a little expensive, but it's really good. That's where I work. Um, and we're you have to so for like the week of Easter, which is like whatever. Um, for the week of Easter, we I have to work for like eight, ten hours. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, on your lips. Um, there you go. <laughs> Rusty said the jalapeno poppers are great when I clean them. LOL. So first and backstory, oh. y'all. Me, Dad, and Rusty were making jalapeno poppers. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that backstory. And we were getting he ready didn't for really clean out the jalapeno poppers. Dad ate one, lit him up. Because Rusty likes spicy, so he didn't, like, think about it. And so Dad bit into it, and it lit him up. Then he was like, oh, maybe I didn't clean yeah, up these all the way. And so Dad said, "Nope, you're not gonna, you're you're not gonna clean them anymore. I got this." So, <laughs> um, yeah, pickles. Yeah, we said, were getting ready for a barbecue competition, and the uh, 
ancillary, the, the Friday night thing. And, uh, you know, I wasn't paying attention and we all had our ingredients. We were trying different things. And, you know, I cleaned mine out, pulled the ribs out, pulled the seeds out. I rinsed them to get the capsaicin out of them and all that. And, uh, well, this joker, he didn't, he didn't do that. He just cut them in half, kind of cleaned the rib out. Well, like, not really. He said he did, but I don't think he did. So we got them wrapped up. We put them on a the cooker. And so we were trying the different batches of filling to see what we wanted to use for, for the ancillary. Anyway, I bit into one and it was like hellfire. It's like I just threw a hot coal in my mouth. Number 17, by the way. That thing lit me up. My eyes were watering, and I just I just took one bite. I hadn't even started chewing yet. Man, he lit me up, and I said, I will no more. Mm -hmm. Move. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, Pickles said ham or duck for Easter. Well, ham. I think. Yeah, ham. Um, Strong Adventures said, or Pickles said that <laughs> rabbit works too, Billy. It does. Eric was a little surprised by that them. comment. Yeah, we were just, me and dad were just talking about eating rabbit, which I'm sorry, yep. Macy. Um, <laughs> it's been a long um, time since I've rabbit. Yeah. Billy, he said, I wait for them to lay eggs first, so. True. True. What? Wait, is this, what do you call a guy rabbit? A rabbit? Dinner. No, but like, if, don't they have a room? Dad just said dinner, but that's not right. How do you know which ones are going to the guy? Well, the boys got a Johnson. Really? Now you got no one comes. <laughs> even wait, even rabbits? Yeah. Mama Bear, you got some love from Eric. Hey, Eric. Mama Bear yeah. said, "Hey, Eric." A girl rabbit won't have a Johnson. I thought that like one of the bunny tails would be white and no one gray. No. Oh, so it's not what they say in Peter Rabbit. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where you. I don't know. Peter Rabbit. Do you remember that TV show? I never watched it. Oh well, there's a TV show about rabbits, and one of them's named Peter, and he saves his phones from getting killed. Basically. Well, it's because they were they were eaten out of the garden, the farmers. Yeah, garden, right? yeah. Well, that was a book. And then they turned it into a show and a movie. They did. Yes, it's on Netflix. And yeah, it was on Prime. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I don't watch it. I don't. Need it. Yeah. <sighs> I can still see my breath. Pickles said that his Easter eggs like chocolate, or his Easter rabbits like chocolate eggs. <laughs> oh, yeah, ours ours do too. Every like little they they lay a couple little trinket trinkets everywhere. A little nugget, little little nuggets. You know what was funny <laughs> was when that movie Hop come out and that little rabbit was running around and it was. I jelly forgot beans. about that movie. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not even yeah, it was, it was kind of scary. That movie was kind of scary. Man, yeah. that was such a good movie. Was, I completely forgot about that movie. We had that. That was a good movie. Yeah, I know. We have it on a little disc. I forgot about Dang it. Though. I can't wait. So, if you guys Guardians. have it, no. Guardians of the Galaxy. The one that the Peyton, Claus, what's, that, what's that movie? The With Guardians. Jack Frost. Yeah. Is it just the Guardians? Yeah, I like that one. I think it's oh, the Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I want to know if you guys have seen this movie called The Luck of the Irish. If you guys like older mm -hmm. movies, it's a Disney movie, it's such a good movie. That one and uh, Morehouse scared me after we watched it to make sure I'm still not scared of it. But Oh my gosh, Look at the Irish was about this basketball, this kid that played basketball. His mom was a leprechaun. And then the mom turned into a leprechaun. And then the son started turning into a leprechaun. You guys have and they had to go to like the, the leprechaun. Their grand. No, scary. Yeah. 
<laughs> Payton, you should watch the movie called The Leprechaun. By yourself. No. You and Macy. Dress you and Macy by yourself. Why? Yeah, you thought Jumanji was there. <laughs> <laughs> you thought Jumanji was there. Not anymore. I've grown up. <laughs> I've grown up. up. It's only because The Rock came out with the second one, or the, the remake. Okay, The Rock and Kevin Hart. Yeah. Maybe. When it was the original one, you were like, ah, the Robin Williams one, you couldn't handle it. I was like 10. And I was 9, and I enjoyed it. Um, yeah. But you're also weird. Um, Pickles said Donnie Dunkaroo had a rabbit in. I'm very confused. Donnie, don't, I'm very confused. Donnie Dunkaroo. What? Where? Who? What, Peyton? I said Donnie Pickles said that Donnie Dunkaroo had a rabbit in it. I don't know what. What is Donnie Dunkaroo? Pickles. Not sure what that is. is. That a movie? Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I, that go. Here's that. Sure. I'm just readjusting my holes because we're getting pretty no. big. Again, some pretty little ones. Yeah. Uh, what a hiccup. A hiccup. What the heck was that? A hiccup. Holy crap! It was my warning to all, all the rabbits to stay away. Jeez, Whatever. I know, right? That's a great that cool. Donnie Dunkaroo is a great, strange movie. I'll have to check it out. Do you know where, like, you can get it from? Because I am, I watch a lot of weirder movies, but I also watch like a lot of like older movies as well. It just we depends. Also watch a lot of movies and cartoon movies. Hey, get off me. Um, but anyway, um, so Smart House scared me. If you guys want to watch it, it's on Disney. Um, but it's a movie, and the mom like died, and then the dad buys this house run by like a computer. That's also why I don't want to ever get like a Tesla. Um, and the computer like traps them in the house, like. It's a really good movie though, but it's just kind of scary. I fell asleep watching it. Or no, I fell asleep. I went up. I woke up. Well, it was funny, I couldn't find the remote, so I sat there. And Bye, Strong it. Adventures. Yep, Strong Adventures says I gotta go. I have to run. I um, I have to get all of our stuff packed up so we can head home in a little bit. Have a great day and awesome week. Yes, sir, Billy. Have a great day. Hope you had a great Sunday morning. Start off and see you next week. Have a good one, Billy. Be careful. That's it. Be careful, Billy. Craig? Do you remember Sorry, that old TV um, show? Craig said that if Tracy had a live, I think it would be to do it. No. No. Hey. It, no, 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 no. no, no. I it's the Imagination it. Movers. They're a bunch of guys. You remember them? The who? Imagination movers. They're no. all like blue jumpsuit kind of things. And a really big orange house. Like blue and pink and Oh yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe. That's maybe. maybe. But yes, I, yeah. I do do I'm hopping on the tr train. I oh, believe I'm starting live. Do it. Ooh. Oh, we're getting there. Ah, Sizzling there is. happening. Lot. Biscuits are starting oh. to rise. Okay. This tripod's really tall. And I like had it mm -hmm. like this, trying to. Yeah. Um. Let's see what else. 
Okay. So, if you had to do one or pick one thing to do that was not, that was kind of like a job. Like, you couldn't do a hobby. You had to do, like, a occupation. What would you pick? Like, what would be your job? But you couldn't. And I know we all love cooking, so no, don't do a chef. Um, one occupation. One occupation. But you can't say cooking because we all we all do that anyway. Yeah. So without yeah, cooking, what would be your yeah. okay. job? Without cooking, what would be your job? What would be my job? I don't know. A science? Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, Peyton, what would you do? Because you kind of work in a restaurant, a cafe, but I what would you do? would do a TV show broadcaster or just like a broadcaster, um, like radio, possibly. Okay. What would you do? I don't know. Without without cooking. Without cooking. Because uh, you know, food truck would be pretty cool. Yeah. You know, doing something like that would be really cool. Yeah, you know, we've talked about getting into catering and doing that kind of stuff. Without food. Yeah, but you guys are talking without food. I don't know. Yeah. What well, about you guys in the chat? Food. What would be your you know what I would dream job without cooking? Hmm. You know what I would do? I don't know. I feel like, Dad, you would be like a good private investigator. I could be a weatherman. Look outside and say, it's cold today. It'll heat up in the afternoon. And then it'll get cold again. I know. Y'all, it's raining. Yeah. No, it's not. If you're cold, get out of the shade and go stay in the sun. (laughs) Eric said that he just wants to be a boss. I can see Eric being a boss. He'd be a really good boss. I want to be a pottery maker. What's the same for pottery? Minister that can cook. That's yeah. Pickles, you kill me. Pickles knows what he would do. He said he'd be a hitman. Pickles just oh, we're friends. Don't. Don't come for me. Um, I can cook for you. So don't let me cut food. Uh, Pickle said Hitman. I am with you on that. <laughs> well, if there were like no <laughs> repercussions or anything, I would definitely be a cartel, like part of the cartel or something. Because I feel like I could I could I can sell some stuff. You know what I mean? Like yeah. <laughs> Paying into good music. Hey, we're still on YouTube. Um, Pickle oh, started yeah. it. He you said know, a hitman. You know, a full time YouTube it. channel would be really awesome. Okay, you, uh, yeah. uh, you cannot get on us. Pickle started it by saying hitman. Yeah. Well, that's a video game. Yeah. I know it is. It's a and great it's video movie. game. Yeah. But, uh. But it's an occupation, so. Yeah. Oh, so but Peyton, you know, a full time That's a crazy movie. job. Game. Yeah. You could do that and have Pickles be the hitman to the cartel. Yeah, pickles. We're in a yeah, business a now. Be pretty cool. <laughs> That's how most of our conversation. Me and Nolan talk about something like insane, and the dad goes on like the. Yeah, and that's when a few weeks ago when we okay, were talking well, about this, Peyton. and Mr. Cassar and defended him. This is what we're talking about right here. <laughs> but Peyton. Now, if Chance was with us, Dad and him would be talking some crazy nonsense. Our cousin, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pickle says that he's in. We have a whole deal. <laughs> so if we was a full-time YouTuber, we wouldn't. We'd have to go like live Peek, every day. Pick, pick. We wouldn't have to be. We would have to do something more like watch the Well, we have to do something more interesting than just sitting around us two yapping. There's nothing in Rock Hill. Well, there is. There's plenty of stuff. Not in Rock got, Hill. Oh, yeah. You got the BMX park. You got the Panthers that are moving the in The BMX town. park. That's you want to go cool. to a BMX park? I don't, but we would go. <laughs> then we got all that stuff up in Charlotte right up the road. 
Yeah. Carowinds. You know, we'll meet up with Butch one day. We'll okay. Go to Carowinds. That'd I'll, be pretty cool. I'll, Peyton, have, what's that one roller coaster? Takes you upside down. Um, I'm not it's sure. Different. Um. Wait, is that mom? Is mom on there? <laughs> oh, it's me. Where's that pay? Oh. It's me. We just saw we saw smoking bears come up at the bottom, <laughs> and I was like, "Woo!" But that's pay. Yeah, because Pickle said I'm in to our little deal going on, okay. and I said, "Pickle, yeah, I can see it now." Pickles and Pete. Yep. Oh. Peyton, we could also have Sydney be the one to get us out of legal trouble. You know, it'd be no. kind of cool. Is, it, and I've, I've talked about this with a couple people about doing some cooking classes, like some backyard, just, you know, teaching people how to grill and how oh, to smoke. Cooking. And I know. Yeah. But that part would be really cool. It'd be the instruction. You like fishing. You could be a fisherman. Well, no, you could like, be like swamp people yeah. and go hunt alligators. But that's a hobby. I like yeah. doing that as a hobby. Well, Eric said that. My mom said if I do good in school, she'll give me a grocery store and I can work and build a restaurant in it so I can invite all of you guys. That's awesome. Eric. Oh, that is cool. Oh, awesome. That is so awesome. Said game on. My, Pickles. My we buddy and I were talking about going. We're going to be set. We got a cover story. Oh, no, we were just doing a. We have the alibi today. My buddy and I was talking one time about uh, how cool it would be to start a like a barbecue uh store sell some ugly drum smokers and stuff like that and some spices and stuff you know kind yeah. of do that kind of stuff and then have backyard classes you know where we can teach people how to use cast iron on I a could, I could make a website and you can sell stuff off of there yeah if you want it also I made if a any of you guys are in the South Carolina area, in the Rock Hill area, closer to the end of the month. My FFA chapter is doing a cornhole tournament. So if you guys want to do a cornhole, cornhole tournament towards the end of March, oh, see, let me know. There is there's a National Cornhole Association in Rock Hill. They play down here. They play downtown. Like downtown Rock Hill? Yeah. They've yeah, been on no, they play like the uh, the arena. I think it is. There's an uh, oh the all right the guys. Indian. Eric said there's Eric. there's a building where they actually they actually hold that. And they're on ESPN. Eric said later, guys. Bye, I'm going Eric. for a swim now. Bye, Eric. Have a good day. We'll see you next uh, week. Have a great Sunday. Have a good one, Eric. Okay. Sorry to get hungry. Let's check. It. Okay. Um, Move your stuff. Let's go check it. Get hungry. Yeah, if you guys want any more information, text my dad account. and get me on Facebook or something. We'll figure something out if you guys are in the area. We you know took down oh. a little bit and all. Okay. Well, I had to close the tripod so I could move it. Ooh. What are you I'm doing, Bert? I'm showing them. Oh, we're getting there. Look at it. You see it? Yep. I'm hungry. Looks like the looks like the eggs are getting done. The biscuits need just a bit longer. Yeah. Boy, that smells good. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. We'll see it again. Oh. Boy, that makes the eggs smell good. Yeah. They do smell good, Dad. They look good. Oh. Yeah, no, you're not. What else? Hmm. So I'm on. A, I'm on a load the to top up pretty heavy with the rest of coals. Okay. Just to get it. Just to try to get them biscuits fed up a little bit. Yeah. Um. So how is your week? At, how is your week going so far, you guys? You think it's gonna be a good week? I have just counted 17 airplanes. So it's going to be a really good week? Probably not. <laughs> okay. I have to set up tutoring this week 
and I don't want to go, but I need it. Yeah. But I'm only three more nine weeks until I'm out of school sophomore year. That's scary. Yeah, I have to stay in school to the end of June. Yeah, I get out like in May. Ain't that nice. <laughs> yeah, because then you can find you a summer job. Gosh. Man. Well, I can get my permit. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> so, any other topics anybody wants to talk about? Um. So, my older sister sent me a TikTok that had different vines in it. My brain was like completely blown, but because I forgot some of them, and then I was like, "Oh my gosh." Like, Free Shavakadu, it's, like, real. Dude, it's crazy. Well, happy one year to Corona. You're a year old. Whatever. Um, yeah. Dad can't find his coffee now. I can set it down places. You have the worst, oh, like, attention, Dad. I, and it's getting worse as I get older every day. You're only 25. It, it, it is. Don't believe it. But a lot of it's because I try to block out all the BS and the drama. So by yeah. not focusing on it, I don't think about it. That's true. Peyton, for the first time in forever, I'm not as pale as dad. Right. <laughs> so, Charlie, uh, Chris from East Wind's getting ready to uh, retire. They were saying on uh, uh, Dude's Kitchen and Grill, uh, they're going to do a nice little party for him on the 12th. I think it's this Wednesday. Uh, yeah. Or... No. Um, Thursday, Friday, this Friday. This Friday? Yeah, oh. this Friday. Yeah. My phone's about dead. I'll plug it in. How long have we been? Oh, okay. Hour and a half. An hour and a half. Oh, Pat, you want to know something? Huh? In August of 2021, we'll have Friday the 13th of the year, the first one of the year. Nice. I looked it up. Pickles said, what was your favorite food from your dad when he cooks, and what was your least favorite? <laughs> um, my favorite? My favorite? I don't know. My favorite um, would be the... Uh, Like food, food will probably be ribs because I'm a rib girl. Um, I think my favorite would be the when he makes breakfast without eggs because I don't like eggs. She doesn't like eggs. But um, my least favorite is when he does the um loaded mushroom caps. Oh, those those are really good. Those are pepper. Um. Because I don't, I don't like least. any of that, so I don't eat it, and I get disappointed because it smells so good. I think my least favorite would have to be like soup because I'm not, I don't eat soup often. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, the texture. Because mushrooms, they just. Oh yeah! Look at that bear. Oh look at this, guys. Because that sweet oh. Chris is a good guy. Don't call. <laughs> right. Oh, oh! You saw that? Oh, that's bad. Oh, yeah. I saw I that. Oh, I don't know if I can see this. Hold on. You can see it. You can see it now. We're gonna call this. 
Oh, wait, yeah. wait a minute. I can't. Okay. I don't know how to do this. Peyton, I don't know how to do this. Well, Barry, you're, you're taking them on a roll. You're going to make people sit. I don't know how to do this. Look at that. I can't. Okay. Oh, okay. I know. I'm like. Zach, you see it? Yeah. Okay. It's on the roller coaster, too, guys. Um. Yeah, looks good. This is how you know. All right. Craig said, heading out. Just... Gotta go shopping. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day to you, too. Have a happy Sunday. Bye. And we will see you next week. Okay. Mm. Well, so why am I this pale? Oh, does that mean it's done then? Yeah. Hello. Hi. I gotta chop up the bacon and then put it on top. Put it on top. Ooh. Hey, Dad, come. She's walking this way. So, my question what? is: Would you guys want to buy a planter, or would you want a planter like to put plants in, or would you want to make it at home? Like, you take a old bottle and make it at home. Buy one from the Dollar Tree. Well, the Dollar Tree doesn't have good plant planters, but so you'd waste a dollar on a. I mean, okay, like, you in that sense, no. You already have to buy the soul. I mean, no, everything. but, like, if you think about it, if you want to be old-fashioned, you would use a plant. Well, you can already be old-fashioned. You are old Anyway, I am. Um, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I have to I have to save up some bottles and show you guys something because I saw this thing and it was bottle caps and they took bottle caps, right? And they made a lamp out of it. And then they also took the old like two liter bottles and um what did they do? Oh yeah, they took old How two liter bottles. The lamp out of the bottle cap? I'll have to show you. And then you they um made a basket out of recycled um two liter and I want to learn to make my own paper that's my goal of 2021 is to make my own paper I think that would be really cool my goal um, is to make my own coffee mugs yeah pickle says I, I always like making my stuff making my own stuff it's more fun and cheaper that you're you're speaking to fire right now I um, used to make Christmas presents and stuff like homemade, and then I give them, and they'd be like, "Oh, like this is really cool." And then I'd like do their own stuff, even for birthday presents. Like I, for one year, I wrapped up my grandpa's silverware and was like, "Grandpa, happy like Merry Christmas." Um, but oh, like for my Peyton, um, instead of Peyton like being a normal person and getting like a nail or a push pin. She um will take hot glue and glue things to her hey, wall. You want to come here and we'll do the yeah. Come on, guys. Make light. Look at this lighting, hey. ugly pale. Yeah, more than normal. Come um, on, guys. All right. Yes, pickles. I do agree. Made is way better than still got. Ooh, lighten up. Uh, hold on. You might have to come on this side there. This side. Or oh, just stay raise, raise it up. Uh, stay with us. Uh, technical difficulties. Um, <clears throat> that looks good, Dad. Okay. So, I'm going to pull out. Ooh, I can't. I can see his pajamas. There you go. That was like a whole balancing act, y'all. Yep, right. 
Take some of our smoked bacon. Is that for me? Am I getting the first plate, Dad? Yeah. Oh, that... it, it smells wonderful. It smells don't wonderful. Don't forget to take the don't forget to take your thumbnail, Dad. That's what Pickle said. Yeah, I, I need to before I before I let Paige destroy it. Let's give it a little clean up right there. Yeah. That's good. All right. So I'm going to put this plate aside, Pay, for the okay. thumbnail. Okay. So I will, I will make you one right here. All right. That's fine. Boy, she's hot and steamy. Thanks. Do you want some salsa? No. Spicy. Who put salsa on like, I don't know. How's that look? That looks good, Dad. It's okay for, well, Charlie's the only one in here. <laughs> Which which one do you like better for the thumbnail? A or B? I don't know. I, I like I look you like B. You like B better? I don't know, because A also has the pickles help. <laughs> I don't know. Um which one do you like, Dad? I don't know. I, I just did this one and I was like, ooh, that's kinda cool. But I also kind of like this one where it's. Um, hmm. uh, cheddar biscuit. Pickle said B. B. All right. Well, then you get A. Yay. So, well, all right, then. That's all we got. So, so uh, yep. I hope you guys had a great time on the live. And. Have a great week, and we will see you guys later. Remember that there's two rules in cooking. And remember, yes. Did it taste good? Did you have fun? Rock on. Rock on. You're awesome. You're awesome. Bye. Bye.